Hey guys, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm gonna to be making a fire truck cake. So this cake is actually inspired by my nephew Declan. He is three years old and he is just the cutest thing that you've ever seen. And at this phase right now, he loves fire trucks. And if you guys watch my channel, you know that I love to do cakes inspired by my nieces and nephews. And so this cake is for him. And when I was deciding how I wanted to create this cake, originally I was actually gonna do a carved cake, but then I decided um, to do it using just my basic round layer cake because my thought was um, if you are watching my channel, um, you're probably gonna be making this cake for you know your child's birthday or something like that. And so I did wanna make this cake accessible so that you guys could definitely make it at home yourself. So I thought this was a better version than a carved cake. So to get started, you guys can see that I do have my cake already frosted. I did this um, yesterday just to save a little bit of time. So the buttercream has crusted and I'm ready to start all of my details. So I have some black fondant here and I'm going to be cutting out a rectangle for the windshield. So I just happen to have um, these rectangle shapes. These are other fondant molds but these are actually the perfect size for what I need. Um, you guys can definitely just use um, paper templates, like I often use those as well. Um, I just had these handy. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this freehand because you are gonna want those sharp, clean lines. This might be a little bit too long for my cake, so I'm gonna cut a little bit off. So next I'm gonna cut out two um, side windows to put on the sides of my cake. So after I finish all the windows, I'm going to cut out some yellow headlights. Um, you don't have to use yellow, um, but I just thought it would add like a nice pop of color. You could also do um, gray or white as well. So now I am going to add a front grill to the fire truck. I had to ask my husband what that was called because I didn't know. And I am using um, fondant that I made using my homemade marshmallow fondant recipe. doing now is I'm going to cut out um, just really narrow strips of gray. So these I'm actually just going to put on right now just so I have the placement. So next I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the wheels and I'm gonna roll this pretty thick um, because I do want them to stick out a little bit. So I just rolled kind of like a log shape and I'm just going to shape these into like a small cone almost. And after I have my two sirens, I'm just gonna place them onto my gray. And I might need a little bit of dab in a hole to adhere them, but they might stick on their own. So 
So after I have cut out all my fire engine details, I'm gonna go ahead and start to adhere them to my cake. So I'm just painting a light coating of Wilton Dab and Hold on the back of each piece. If you guys watch my channel, you know that Wilton Dab and Hold is my life and I use it every episode, can't live without it. So I'm gonna go ahead and first attach my windshield. So now that I have all my pieces placed, I'm just going to start adding in a few little details. So I am going to um, make some indentations in this grill, like some light lines here, just using a fondant dowel tool. So next I'm going to outline the windows in white, just to make it pop a little bit more. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of metallic silver to um, like the wheels and to the grill, just to add a little bit of something extra. So this is edible metallic paints and I will be sure to put the link in the show notes. I do use this a lot, it, um, a ton of different cakes and I really just love this product. So our fire truck definitely needs a ladder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go ahead and pipe this in white frosting. So I do wanna make an outline first. My fire truck cake is complete and I love how it turned out and I think this design is perfect for a do-it-yourself birthday cake and I do hope that you guys also enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel.